Hello again, my name is Richard. I'm here with more of my Portal Burning Gang stock. Uh, so far, uh, right now, I'd just like to read out some of the uh, sites that you can go to that uh, explain what happened to me and what went on in my life. There's uh, gangstalkingworld.com, it's very, very informative, and that basically tells the truth about uh, how uh, I had a problem with EIC, uh, and you can find out more about that when you go to gangstalkingworld.com on how they did that. Uh, there's also CATCH, which stands for Citizens Against Technological and Community Based Harassment. There's also StopCovertWar.com. Go there and check out War on Whistleblowers, and that's what I am, the whistleblower. Uh, so I'm being punished for it. This is how they do it. Never speak out to your government because they'll come and they'll crush you. This isn't a free country anymore. YouTube, Mars Boy 683 all his videos are pretty good and very informative, check that out. While you're at YouTube, or at YouTube, you can check out Organized Stalking Informers, that's very informative. Go to places like Educate.com, they, they uh, also explain more on uh, what happens to whistleblowers. Um, but basically, this is some of the things that, you know, some of the sites that explain the truth about what's going on. And basically, uh, first the police, after they caused my nervous breakdown back in the summer of 07, and that landed me in front of a doctor in, in the hospital, I lost like 30 pounds in three weeks. So that sounds like it was poisoned by me, uh, by the way I hear it, the way I see it. But anyway, um, lost 30 pounds in three weeks, and I got, I got put into the hospital after constant harassment from the RCMP and, and working together like this with the gang stalkers that caused my nervous breakdown. Uh, and as I said, that got me in front of a doctor so that any time after they can always write it off as a mental health thing. So when I exposed who that, uh, the second time I went to the hospital, when I exposed who the little weasel uh, gang stalker was, and when I exposed him, that's when they had to take me and put me in the hospital. Uh, because they didn't want anyone to know, so they have to pretend that this is all just in my head, that no, that guy was innocent, but he is not innocent. But, um, so basically that's how it got me in the second, in the hospital the second time, with bogus reasons for that. They should have never, they didn't have a right to take me away, but they did anyway, they took me away. Um, then the third time is because of something I put on the internet about speaking about what they did to me. Well, of course I'm going to be upset. But I'm writing it as a third person, saying it as a third person, that's the story it's going to be. So that way I can keep saying the things. I'm going to use names and everything. Not full names, of course, but I can still use names like Judy and Sandy and all these people who screwed me over. I, this, you know, uh, what else is there to say? This is the people who did this to me. They kept the silence, and this is why my family and my wife, they think this is just in my head. Now they've got me whacked out on these drugs that uh, give me shakes, like as if I've got Parkinson's. Well, uh, that's, that sounds like torture to me. That's that's not a punishment. That's a punishment, is what it is. And that's what the drugs are for—to control you and punish you. That's why they do that to me. So anyhow, um, please check out all my videos. They've, I've explained a lot in other videos and how they did it, how they pulled me over, how the police were harassing me, and uh, how I pulled over that that guy in, in front of the co-op gas station. Um, is exposing him as a gang stalker. Uh, so please go to these sites and you understand that when there's a reason why they take me away and it's because I uh, recommend to anyone who's a targeted individual is not confront your, your the stalkers because they'll use that to take you away no matter what because gang stalkers are protected in this country. So you will be taken away uh, and silenced because of it. So please go to read all my go to all my videos and please uh, my Mark free Mark Emery so you can see Mark Emery uh, my free Mark Emery posters out on the highway as well so that's all for now remember God loves you but loves you more when you use cannabis and him.